An Atlanta salon owner found himself facing some strange and some frightening symptoms. Out of the blue, his heart would begin to race, and Nick Nelson feared he might have heart disease or something worse. The problem was not his heart, it was his thyroid gland. The Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin has his story. More than 27 million Americans have some sort of thyroid disease, and half of them have no idea they suffer from an imbalance. Nick Nelson didn't realize he was at risk, but now he's making sure that his clients spread the word and understand. We've done a lot together. Inside Atlanta's pressed natural hair salon, Nick Nelson and his clients are tight. He's been doing my hair for about 11 years now. And as they got to know each other, Tawanda Thompson shared her story with Nick of being a two-time thyroid cancer survivor. Yeah, I always kind of joke with him and say I was patient zero. <laughs> so when he and I started talking about it, um, he then noticed stuff with himself. Because about five years ago, in his early 30s, Nick says he started feeling horrible. It was it was really, really rough. His hair was thinning, his heart was racing, and he felt exhausted. Like I would sleep for an entire night and wake up still tired. Um, I would be worried and anxiety and losing weight and gaining weight and losing weight again. <laughs> Thinking he might have a heart problem, he went to see a cardiologist. When I walked in, one of the technicians looked at me and she said, um, I can tell you what's wrong with you and it's not your heart. And I, can, I was like, okay. And she was like, have you seen your neck? Because Nick had a very large goiter. So he came to see endocrinologist Dr. Darwin Brown, who's affiliated with DeKalb Medical Center. And Dr. Brown, when I walked in, he was like, that is a big order. And how did you, how did you miss that? <laughs> and I was like, uh, I don't know how I missed it. A blood test showed that Nick had a severely overactive thyroid gland or hyperthyroidism. It is something that can make you quite ill. Um, it is something that can make you critically ill. Because Dr. Brown says the small butterfly-shaped gland in our neck produces a thyroid hormone that regulates and can throw off so many things in the human body. From hair growth to brain activity, heart rate, heart rhythm, bowel function, a woman's menstrual periods are very highly dependent on thyroid hormone. Nick's hyperthyroidism was so severe and his goiter so large, he had to have his thyroid gland surgically removed. And about that time, another client, Monica Madden, started struggling with many of the same symptoms. He was like, Monica, go get checked, go get checked. One day after a workout at the gym. I felt like I was having a heart attack. I was having palpitations, I had chest palpitations, pains. Uh, my heart was racing. Monica's diagnosis, severe hyperthyroidism. She too needed surgery. Had Nick not pushed me or, and had, had he not been there to guide me through that process, I probably wouldn't be here. That's how severe mine was. I probably would not have been here. I talked to a lot of people about it because it's um, so many people don't know about it, you know, or don't even think about it. You know, it's your thyroid and you be like, oh, whatever. And Nick Nelson now knows that one little gland can be a big deal. Four years after his surgery, he takes a thyroid replacement medication every morning. His levels constantly being tweaked. It's going to forever be a work in progress, but I, I do feel better. And better feels good. Beth Galvin for the Fox Medical Team. And according to the Cleveland Clinic, women are at least five times more likely to have thyroid problems than men. A blood test can check your thyroid hormone levels. So many Americans suffer from the opposite problem they can. They have low thyroid levels. And Dr. Brown says if you're experiencing insomnia or fatigue or you can't focus, see your doctor about getting tested for thyroid disease.